This is a demo on how to personalize your Fury apps and use the UI adaptation mode. To showcase this, I'm going to use the Manage Supplier Master Data app. To retrieve our data, let's press Go and let's press Adapt Filters. This brings up a dialog that lets us customize and add filters to the header. Let's click more filters and select all these. OK. Now let's save and go. And there they are, the filters we just added. Now to use a filter, you can press the value help button or just simply type in them. There we go. As we can see, our filter has been applied. So the next thing I want to demonstrate is how we can customize our suppliers table here. To do that, let's head on over to the button with the little gear icon on it. There we go. This will pop open the View Settings dialog. As we can see, we already have Business Partner and Role selected as columns. Now let's add City to that, and let's search for some more. For example, Street, let's add it. House Number, let's add that one. Postal code, add that one, and let's click OK. And here's our table columns. Beautiful. So I quite like how I set up my application here. Uh, this allows me to do my work efficiently. So what I would like to do is save it as a view. To do that, we can go to the left upper corner, select my filters. Click Save As, give our view a name, now check the Set as Default option and click Save. So the next time I open the Supplier Master Data app, the view I just made will be the default, showing only the columns of filters I need to do my work efficiently. Awesome. The other thing you can do is save your view as a tile. To do that, let's click on the button in the right upper corner here. Select Save as Tile. Now we can just fill out a subtitle. Click OK. All right, tile created. Let's head back to the launch pad. And there's our custom tile, ready to go. And clicking it will, of course, take us to our view. So making our own tiles is as simple as that. And it can really give us an even better user experience with our Fury Launchpad. All right, moving on to the next thing I want to showcase. It's the UI adaptation mode. First, let's navigate to the detail page. Now to turn UI adaptation mode on, let's go to our profile in the right upper corner. Select Adapt UI. UI Adaptation Mode, as the name suggests, allows us to adapt and customize the fields on our screen. For instance, we can pretty much move, add, and delete fields as we see fit. And when we're done adapting our UI, we can save it for personal use or even publish it for everyone to use. All right, let's say you want to change the text on this label here. We just simply double click it and start typing. Simple as that. Now to add a field, we have to click on an existing one and select the plus button. This will bring up a dialog with all the fields that are within the business context and can be added to our screen. Using the search bar will make it easy for us to find all the fields we want to add. For instance, house number, hometown city, postal code, and street. OK, that's enough for now. And there are fields added to the screen. Isn't that cool? We can even drag and drop them to arrange them how we like. And we can edit the labels with a little pencil here. All right, let's drag this one down. 
There we are. I quite like this. Let's save and exit. Get a pop-up saying the app will reload with our personal settings. Okay. And there we have it. Our adapted UI. Ready to get to work in style.